George Jr. got into the 60. They came in, crash on the front straight. The 12 is around, Marty. Sam Hornis, just as we told you, is having one of his best runs in a long time, has gone around. And it looks like it may be a similar situation to what we saw earlier, just not picking those bumpers up. Yeah, this trial is probably one of the most difficult parts of the track when you're linked up like that. Four tires and uh, one can here. Four tires it's like that right hand. front is going down as well. And especially as you come out of the trial, the racetrack flattens back out just before you get to the start finish line. The car will actually move a little bit on its own there, so the driver behind has to really be aware of that and ready for any movement. Sam's been running in the top five all day long here. And right now, trying to get back around and hoping that that tire does not start tearing up the fender. Let's take another look. Yeah, they're coming through. They're, of course, they're gaining pretty quickly. That's what I think Sam Hornish just may have come out of the throttle just a little bit. Ricky Stenhouse wasn't ready for it. We saw it happen with Brian Scott. It happened to Jason Leffler in practice two days ago. And this happened right here in front of our booth. We're on top of the grandstands right here. I felt the grandstands shake when this happened with all the fans jumped up in the air. <laughs> Let's go on more with Trevor Bain. Let's see how fast they're, they're coming here. Sam actually does a really good job not to hit the wall. So Ricky Stenhouse been the car pushing there. He knows that they're coming up on the car, but he has no idea just how fast they're closing on that. Sam Hornish looked like he may be going to go to the outside, and uh, but instead he may have just come out of the throttle a little bit to fall in line. We're going to see a lot more of this today, too, because we're not near the end of the race when the intensity level really gets high. Exactly. Sam has made it to his pit, and the crew goes to work. You can see that back bumper. He's got it worn out. Yeah, most importantly, he's got all the fenders intact, so his race car is there good. He just has four tires, and he'll just have to find Ricky Stenhouse a little bit later. And he should be able to stay on the lead lap. That's one of the advantages. Of time. Being on this 2.66 mile layout. Uh, yeah. um, somebody grab a wedge wrench and take one out of the right rear, please. Yeah, the field's on the back okay, straightaway, so they got plenty of time here to work on this car. You see him cleaning the back bumper and putting some of that. Yeah, those like older tires there, we might want a little bit more. Sounds crazy. Right there. Yes, we got, out uh, they're taking wedge out of <laughs> which loosens it up, but that's not why, obviously, it did that. And the cars are just heading into turn four, and Sam pulls back out onto the Talladega Super Speedway. Brad Keselowski up front with Trevor Bain right behind him, along with Stenhouse, Sorensen, Logano. And there is our lucky dog, Joe Nemechek. You know, Joe holds or shares about eight records here. Most polls, most top fives, most top tens, most laps led, most starts.